Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and this is the first power-up of the newly invigorated Project Envy. Got all of the new stuff in it, 980 Ti, lots of hard drive space, and much, much, much more. Envy looks good in green. Gonna get a post beep any second. Multiple beeps. Why is it giving so many beeps? Uh, no. Please post. Please. Let me love you. Three fast beeps. Three fast beeps. Is that... What would that mean? I will go look this up. Alright, I've let it sit for a bit. It detected something on the screen. That's a good sign. Still three short beeps. Okay. I looked it up online and it's a hardware thing. So I installed two new pieces of hardware. One was the video card and one was the new sound card. Actually, four new pieces of hardware. So these drives are hot swaps. Let's see if having them out will affect the, the beep codes. Those are not important drives. They can stay out if they need to. Nope, no change, okay. I'm going to shove those back in. I'm going to make sure that the video card is properly seated. That would be my number one guess. Well, if it's the sound card that has to come out, that is fine. I can run without that sound card. This video card, though, is the only one that'll work with this screen, because it's 4K. The 580 classified that was in here before works perfectly fine. But it only has DVI connections, and DVI only goes up to, well, I know it doesn't go up to 4K. So you see the problem here. Take that off. Nothing video card wise seems out of place. Oh, because this is such a fat and heavy video card, it's putting a lot of stress onto that uh, PCIe slot. I did not foresee this being a problem. <sighs> I made this too tight. All right, I'm gonna try moving just the sound card. Power up. 
Hey! Yes, it was the sound card. No, it was the sound card. <laughs> oh well. That's promising. Yay. Now why wasn't the sound card being or working correctly or being recognized properly? Will it work if I shove it in there again? Because I actually do remember it having a slight issue getting in there because there's a cable right there you can see. Maybe it was keeping it from going all the way in. I will try plugging it in again, starting it up again, and seeing if it'll work then. Hopefully that's gonna work then. All right, sound card is back in there. Nothing is plugged into it. Let's see if it does anything cool. That went green. Okay. Confirmed sound card's not gonna work in this system. Bummer. Oh well. I suppose my gameplay videos will be subpar audio from now on until I can get a better board or something. I need to get a I need to get a thing to cover that up now. I don't want the Hall of Fame cards sucking up outside dust as easy. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Let's try this again. All right, now first boot of Project Envy with all the new good stuff in it. Sit back and relax. This will take a little bit. Okay. Yay. Now, this is going to take a long time because you have the 2003 hard drive that it's booting off of. I desperately need to get a 2010 uh, SSD. A Samsung 470 series I hear is pretty good for the time. All the ones I see on eBay though are pretty expensive and bad and stuff. It's going to be a wonky angle and all that, or resolution, because of the 980 Ti officially installed. I have been working on this computer, or taking apart Project Supremacy, and... Uh, working on Project Envy since about uh, 3 o'clock. It is now 8 o'clock. I had a small break in between to bring in my cats since they were on the back porch and afraid of thunder. I supported hardware detected. Oh my god, that resolution. Yay, I can hear the sound. <laughs> that resolution scaling, though. Oh, it's going to take forever here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> there, let's get a little bit bigger. Still nowhere near 4K. Now the 4 seems to be the only game installed. I'm going to have to tell Steam that, hey, in theory, there's another whole drive in there with brand new stuff in it. Still has a long way to go here. Can I open that and get to computer? 
to see all my hard drives. Yes, I can. That is a thing of beauty right there. Alright, that's uh, fake games. Steam Drive is the one I'm going to tell Steam to look at. Old backup OS. I could throw in the SSD in here just to get files off of, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Everything I usually kept track of is on all of the backup drives. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Work network. I lied. It is not 8 o'clock. It is 9.47 and it's finally starting up again. Oh my god. Let's close that. Give the computer one less thing to worry about. Updating Steam. Woo. Razor Mamba Tournament Edition. Surprise, it's not trying to install the 980 Ti yet. Let's get Task Manager up and running. There we go. Feels so good to just lean back in my chair and watch this go. Seeing it work. Because believe me, after working on it all day, having it beep like that, having it not work, absolutely terrified me. But it's working. Alright, cool. Shut up Skype. I have about six minutes of recording time left. I don't think it's going to be done. Because <laughs> it's going to have to restart after it's uh, done doing the NVIDIA stuff, I assume. Thankfully, this motherboard has dual gigabit networking ports. I have two gigabit, or I don't know if it's really gigabit, but it has two, two Ethernet jacks. I have two Ethernet cables going to it, but one of them is broken. One of them doesn't give the right signal. So um, what I usually do is I link the two connections on Project Supremacy, but obviously I'm not using that anymore. I need to set it to link on this machine as well. Just so that it doesn't try to accidentally uh, connect and not work with the bad cable. Shut 
change adapter settings. That is not what I'm looking for. There we go. Come on, I hit right click. Bridge connections. Now we wait. Skype is trying to do something. Sorry, Skype, but you gotta go. PCI device, awesome. Yay. Hey, it's doing everything I wanted to. What is this? Corsair link? No, get out of the way. I don't need this. <laughs> Not now, please get out. What? It's gonna do all this now here. Yay, all my meters are working. I'm gonna uh, cut the video here. I gotta free up some space on the phone, I believe. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I have enough recording time forever now. Well, 50 minutes, more or less 45. Raise your synapse, cool, go away. Waiting for it to do other things right now. <laughs> raise your mamba, then raise your mamba to another edition. Hmm. What exactly is the difference? Bridge connections. Let's try this again. So they couldn't do it while it was doing some other networking thing, but I think it actually just timed out because the hard drive was doing so many other things for being how old it is. Other network connection property sheets are open, but you see they aren't. Oh, it's probably this thing. So, I actually have to wait for all the drivers to install for that window to close. Perfect. I got until 11 o'clock. This is going to be fun. But it's to show you what I... Interruptions and... Well, video controller adapter failed. Looks like... Yeah, it's installing all the other software. Looks like I'm going to have to go through GeForce Experience or try to find the correct driver for the 980 Ti. Even though I thought they used the same drivers, obviously something went wrong here. Alright, 
it's installing the mouse now. There we go. There we go. I have no idea why it did it like that. I can't full screen it anymore. I guess it got too tall. Oh, it's installing Black Widow Chroma now. Even though I kind of thought it already did that. Chrome, how will you respond to all of this? If the answer is horribly, I will close you. Good God. Yep, horribly. <laughs> So when I restart, hopefully all this weird scaling will be better, <laughs> in theory. I still have like six things to install. All of them are Razor. <laughs> I'm actually not even kidding, all of them are Razor. One of them is for an unidentified device. I wonder what that will be. Probably something racer. <sighs> I'm gonna have to readjust my drives meter here. GPU meter, PC meter not detected. That is the least of your worries, man. <laughs> NVIDIA high definition audio. Huh, so that was the mystery thing. So it's not all Razer. My bad. <laughs> Alright, and song the Mamba Tournament Edition again. <laughs> oh, and Blackwood Chroma. Yay. Chroma USB input device. Razor Mamba. Still have three more things to go. Everything else is good except for the 980 Ti for some odd strange reason. Whenever it pauses, it's doing something. Is there anything else I can close? Steam, get out of here. I'm certain that is not helping with driver installs here. Okay, that's done. Let's go ahead and go ahead and try to find 
the video card driver. Actually, let's go ahead and log off to get this scaling uh, fixed up here, at least a little bit. And I'll be right back. I'll see if I can get the video card drivers to download. All right, I forgot there wasn't a password on this machine. So that's, that's cool. Totally safe. And goodbye Skype. Goodbye Steam. Close that and yay. All my things are ready to go here. Now, Chrome is usable. Let's see if we can bridge the uh, connections now. Probably got to close that. Cool. Now, I will not have any networking issues. Search download, agree and download. Should not take too long here. Just a few more seconds. Do that, close that. <laughs> this will take the longest time, I think. Because the, these hard drives are so ancient, what I'll do Instead of completely shutting down, it's probably uh, just put it into sleep mode. So that it's not completely shut down and all the files are still active somehow, in some way. I know this is riveting footage here.
All right, the windows just went away. All right, cracked open the Pepsi bottle. Everything is good. Checking system compatibility. Oh, man. <laughs> Yay. I've had issues with that not detecting in the past. I don't know why it didn't uh, work before, so I'm going to do a clean installation. And we're going to have some fun. And by fun, I mean skip to when it's installed. Ooh, 1080 Ti. Cool. Yay, I want to get that for my new mini system. If AMD Vega isn't around by that time, it's all built up. Yep, I'll see you in a minute, or however many years this takes. Alright, so it installed the drivers in Omen. There we go, that's better. Uh, that, that now size. I may have to increase the, whatchamacallit, again. But yeah, as you can see, the video card drivers are now installed after restarting. Because it restarted, it's going to take a long time to get all of its programs loaded up. So I'm going to quickly I go ahead and do the thing where I force it to yet. Assuming I can ever get logged in. Yay. Oh, wait. That looks like no a normal mouse size. How will the icons look? Will they be uh, viewable, seeable, visible? Whatever word that is I'm looking for. Woo! Best thing to do on a computer ever! Not really. Come on, load up. It is so rainy outside. Thankfully, all the power cables in my neighborhood got shoved on the ground some time ago. And now we're waiting for the icons. Yep, I got a do the thing. With the scaling. It's got to start up more first, I guess. Hey, I'm not even using large icons. Hey, that looks actually normal. What looks less normal is the icons down here. I'm trying to think if there's a lot more on Project Supremacy that was at the bottom. Oh well. This isn't looking too bad here, though. But... Everything here is fine and working good, no problems. I should not have tried to open NVIDIA control panel. That takes 10 years to open even with a solid state drive. I can't imagine how long it'll take 
with this ancient hard drive. But I guess that's going to be it for this series of videos for now until I get uh, my new AMD system built up and all the data is ready to be transferred on over. So if you enjoyed this long series of videos, then please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well because five hours. <laughs> Thanks, Game Boy Out. I'll see you in the future. Okay, so I updated Corsair Link, and as soon as the window opens, the whole computer freezes. It's been like this for at least a minute now. It's not giving me any error screen. I don't quite hear the hard drives ticking away. So either something horribly wrong has happened, or just some random system lockup. I will give it one more minute and then I will hit the reset button and see if that will do anything for me. I mean, it'll do something, but will it get back into Windows or will I be forced to use the solid state drive in this computer? I kind of don't want to because I would like to keep it somewhat to theme, but if I can't, then oh well, I tried. I say it's over, it's never over. Reset. Alright, let's see what happens. God, I hate those fans. It did a beep. At one point I had a memory card error where it only recognized up to 8 gigabytes. I'm hoping that is not what's happening here. Hoping it's just a hard drive failure, which, no I'm not. Starting Windows, it's recognizing the hard drive. It didn't blue screen immediately. I'm going to go with it was a random system hang-up. Thank you, Corsair Link. You are the greatest. No, you're not. Please die. Let's see if it'll get to desktop without any issues. And then that'll be the end of the short video thing. Come on. You had it so good. See, that is nice black on nice accurate colors. Move two inches, and then it goes all washed out just looking at like that. <laughs> Phone, why you do this? Just please be stable for once and get the colors I need you to get. It will never do that, of course. Come on, get to the desktop. Welcome. I wonder if it's going to be a blue screen code that popped up. Yes, you've been welcoming me for a few seconds now. Can you, can you let me in? Let me into my own computer? 2003 hard drives? Alright, you're halfway there.
Come on. You've opened the door, but you walked me into a dark room. Can you please turn on the lights? Catch trail. It looks weirder on the phone because thirty FPS capture. Bring the mouse sensitivity all the way up. So that just a wiggle is all it takes to go across the screen. Oh, there's there's some form of life. It's a miracle. Yay! It didn't completely die. Life with an old computer, I tell you.